A huge winter storm is about to plague the U.S. even as some areas see record highs. Let's dive into the details, shall we? If you're traveling across the U.S. this week, you might feel summer in one spot and winter in another. The National Weather Service is predicting temperature, temperatures hitting record highs and lows, while a huge winter storm will plague a large portion of the country. Some areas will see both extremes. After warming up to nearly 80 degrees on Thursday, the Washington, D.C. region will fall below freezing late Friday, with snow and rain likely on Saturday, the NWS says. Many places also will see strong winds. The weather agency said on Monday that confidence is high that the winter storm will be extremely disruptive to travel, infrastructure, livestock, and recreation in affected areas. That's not good. Yeah, look at what it's looking like. Here in Texas, it looks like I'll get in Austin, I'll get a little bit of this. At least I'm not getting the at least I'm not getting the snow. That's what I'm happy about. <clears throat> a massive winter storm is expected to impact much of the U.S. this week with a variety of hazards, including heavy snowfall, sweet, freezing rain, and severe thunderstorms, the NWS said on Monday. Parts of the Northwest were already feeling the storm early Monday, with snow falling in the Cascades and northern Rockies. The large system is forecasted to expand to California in the Southwest, even as it moves east. In Los Angeles and Southwest California, it will be the coldest storm of the season and possibly of the last several years, the local NWS office said as LAist reports. The storm could bring snow and grapple fragile pellets that form around snow cycles. By Wednesday, the forecast map shows active snowfall likely to stretch across the, a huge swath of, of the country from Arizona to Nevada to Minnesota. Storm total uh, snowfall will likely be measured in feet from many of the mountain ranges across the west, the NWS said. The system is driven in part by an energetic upper-level pattern, the NWS said. At the same time, the agency says two fronts will push southward from Canada down into the western and central United States, bringing significant widespread snow and other hazards. Ugh. The uh, term the NWS Climate Prediction Center and many forecasters are using to describe the overall weather pattern is anomalous for the unusual cold and warmth that people will experience. In the east, people living in areas ahead of the storm can be forgiven for wondering if winter is already over as they watch early blooms emerge. Temperatures on Monday were forecast to be 10 to 20 degrees warmer than normal across the central and eastern U.S., as it alerted people to the winter storm, the NWS also predicted even more anonymously warm highs in the east and numerous record high maximum temperatures possible. Interesting. Highs Tuesday will be similarly above average for most locations, including 70s expecting northward into the mid-Atlantic, the NWS said, with only the northern Tier cooling off as the Clipper system passes through. Much of the Northeast isn't likely to see as much snow accumulation as in the West, forecasters say, but they could still see freezing rain and ice. And people in the in Maine and parts of New England, where temperatures were expected to uh, flirt with record highs on Monday, are also on the alert for a significant winter storm to hit from Wednesday night through Friday. The pattern of anomalous uh, temperatures is expected to hold sway uh, through at least the first days of March, the Climate Predictions Center says. Yeah, this is crazy. It's been a crazy year for the weather in the U.S., like for winter storms in particular. Yeah, just how cold it is and all the snow. Crazy. Um, but yeah, make sure you stay safe out there if you're in these areas that are getting record lows, you know, be careful. Um, but what's your opinion on this story? Please let me know in the comments below. Also, be sure to smash that like button and subscribe to this channel for daily news updates. Hit that notification bell and share this video to help spread the news. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.